hey, it's Will here. I'm an illustrator and a character designer. And a few days ago, I was scrolling through my portfolio website and I saw all pieces that I still uh, have on this page, as you can see. And I was like, I need to redraw them, but I don't know which one I wanted to choose first. But uh, we need to start with an illustration first. Uh, so I just did a quick uh, poll story on my uh, Instagram page. Everyone decided the, the one on the skater girl. So let's go uh, with this new YouTube video to redraw this character. So I will explain all my process and give you some tips to redraw your illustration. Have fun and see you at the end of the video. Well, for this new video, I wanted to give my tips and tricks to better redraw uh, an illustration. So, the first tips I could give you is to make the good choice about the illustration you want to redraw. This is the, the first step of the redraw, but it's the most important because you have to still like your previous work even if there is some mistakes, you have to still love the concept from it and have a big interest. For example, with my Skater Girl, uh, I really like the color palette and the character design for this illustration. I love the glasses, the, the yellow jacket and the flowing hair. You have to find the key things you like in your whole illustration to really want to redraw it. If you choose an illustration you don't really like or you think it's really bad, you don't really have an interest to do your best and if you don't like the, the concept it can't work. If you want to illustrate a note illustration, the illustration has to be old. It could be at least one year ago from where you are now. And my second tips and the second step when you do a redraw illustration exercise just for fun or for train yourself you have to better know your past to handle your future so the most important things too is to understand what works and what didn't work on your previous illustration for that you could uh, open your old illustration on your canva and just trying to to check uh, what you still like and what you don't like uh, for example about the composition the color palette the lighting pose or the expression of the character or maybe the character design that uh, uh, you don't really like um, for example in my case I still like the character design I love the girl with the sunglasses with the retro uh, vibes but it's a skater girl and the illustration is very static. When I drew it two years ago, I thought I draw some movement. And now when I'm looking at it, I'm like, wait, she's not moving. She's on a skateboard and she's not moving. This was my focal point. I was like, okay, I need to redraw her with a great movement like she's skating you you could you could take some notes 
like um, I like these shapes, I like the composition, I like the line of action, etc. And you, you do the same with the things you don't like and this is what you will improve on your next illustration. This is what a redraw is made for. The goal of a redraw is to take an illustration, an old illustration and do it again with a new twist, with all the knowledge you have learned and how you can apply to the new one. So the third tips I could give you is to set your goals. It's really important. You have to tell and maybe write it on on a on a corner of your Canva to keep it in mind during all the process. You have to to tell you, okay, I want to redraw this illustration and to really produce something better I need to do this I want to do this I want the people who look at my illustration have this feeling ask questions and give you some goals to achieve for example you could ask you what I, what I want with the new illustration I want a new pose I want people feel this way I want uh, uh, to express a better technique I want to try a new rendering technique etc etc what do you want to bring new to the past illustration the past illustration is good you did it you post it online share it with your friends it was good but what can you bring it to this illustration to make it better so for example with my uh, skater girl illustration it was for my portfolio so it was quite old for a portfolio piece two years old two years old so I wanted to redraw this illustration to put it in my portfolio so I was like okay it's my it's for my portfolio I want the illustration to be uh, a good representation of what I could do now and recently I uh, did a, a course uh, online about rendering and lighting uh, in your illustration so my goal was to produce a new illustration with a kind of um, upgrade rendering technique that I recently learned to see how I can apply what I learned on my own style and reinterp reinterpret what I what I what I learned and as I said on my previous tips the main goal was to add movement to redefine shapes have a better composition and about composition it's about the line of action the movement of the character and all the the claws flowing and the secondary action like the hair so this was my goal and this is a really important step uh, to achieve a good redraw is to set your goals my bonus tips is probably a little bit um, random or generic but it's to have fun because having fun allows you to be creative, to experiment and enjoy what you are doing. If you don't have fun with this process, you just have to keep the whole illustration or draw something new. It's something uh, pretty recurrent uh, with artists, is a perfectionist and you should totally avoid it because a piece 
could be perfect uh, totally in every detail. It could be closer, but not at all. So do your piece the best as you can, and you will redraw it two years later. So, and another little bonus look back, take a look back. When you have done your illustration, the redraw illustration, put the previous one on your canvas and the new one side by side and see if you respect the goals you set, if you enjoy your process and if you upgrade what you wanted to upgrade with the with the new drawing and then it's this side by side helps you to tell you well I really improved from the past two years when you are just drawing and drawing and drawing you don't see that so when you have the two illustrations side by side you can see this and you can just cheer yourself up and congratulations, you did a good redraw. Well, if you want, you can draw something, redraw something. You can redraw something and tag me on social media. My account is The Out of Will. You can find me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, etc. etc. So, Feel free to redraw an old illustration and tag me so I can look look your your work. Well, this is the end of the video, this is the final result, um, I think I really achieved uh, the goal I, the goals I set earlier with the movement, the secondary action, the composition, I uh, really wanted to have this retro vintage uh, vibes uh, into the color palette and, and the lighting so I think it's a good redraw I really like her and I could totally put her in my portfolio well it's me again so I hope you really enjoy seeing my process to redraw this skater girl I really like uh, redrawing her and I can't wait to redraw more characters um, if I can give you one advice to follow if you have uh, an Instagram page or at station Twitter etc etc uh, or just uh, your own website you should clean up the portfolio you don't have to keep all the pieces you created you should just keep the best work that showcases your abilities uh, now and this is what I'm trying to do especially with this one I upgrade the illustration because I still like the concept of the character but uh, a redraw give you another uh, point of view and another dimension to the drawing so if you like to see more redraw uh, on the next video feel free to put a like um, a comment and feel free to subscribe to my channel if you want to be noticed when uh, i do another video so see you in the next video bye